What's up guys, it's Dak13 and in this video I will be showing you all a new tweak that recently came out. Uh, the name of it is iKiwi. Uh, you should see the way it is spelled in the title above. Um, but this tweak for your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad basically allows you to add another row to your keyboard with any custom keys you want. So you can do one with like a winky face, a smiley face, whatever. So basically once you're in Cydia, you just want to go to the search tab and you want to search for it. I Kiwi. As you guys can see, it's spelled like that. And it should be from the Big Boss repo. You can simply touch it. And it does cost $1.99 as you can see right there. So if you want it, you can simply purchase it. And once you have purchased it, I, as you guys can see I did it right there, you can press the install button and then the confirm button. And then you can simply press the restart springboard button on your iDevice. Alright, so once you have respraying your device, uh, you can test this tweak out, um, non-customized, so I'm just going to add a new note. And as you guys can see, this top row has been added to the keyboard. So this is um, the default um, keyboard when you install iKiwi. It just has all those symbols when the shift button is pressed and when you um, don't, when you press the shift button again to make sure alt is off or shift is off, then it shows you the numbers. So as you guys can see, it looks really, really cool. And now I'm going to quickly show you on how you can customize that top row of keys. So you can do that by going into the settings app, scrolling down, and selecting, selecting the iKiwi tab right there. And you can choose the regular keys and the alt keys. So basically the alt keys is when you have the little arrow um, glowing. So it's basically when your keyboard is... Um, in all caps and then when you do the customized keys it's basically when your keyboard is not altered so uh, when the letters are, are all lowercase so I'm just going to do customizing keys I'm going to customize the first three keys um, I'm going to change this one to the bullet I'm going to change key two uh, to the plus sign I'm going to change key three to the equal sign and now I can go back and I can customize the alt keys so I'm going to change alt key number one to a comma. I'm going to change alt key number two to a, we'll put a smiley face. And I'm going to change alt key number three to a sad face. As you guys can see right there. So now you can go back and you press save and respring and this will pretty much um, apply the changes to the top row of the keyboard. So once your device is resprung, um, you can quickly head back into notes again. And I'm just going to add a new note just to show you all. And as you guys can see, when the arrow is glowing, which means when the keyboard is in Alt, um, it shows these keys. So I typed those in. That's, that was basically the customizing Alt keys. And as you guys can see, that's what it looks like. I entered in a comma for Alt key number one, and it has it there. And I also got a smiley face, and I also got a sad face. Really, really cool. And then when I'm not alted, I have the three keys that I typed in there. I got the bullet, the plus sign, and the equal sign. Really, really awesome. So this tweak, I believe, is one of the best tweaks of 2011. It's extremely useful for any iDevice because you got a whole extra row of keys that you can freely customize to whatever you use the most. Like if you're um, a texter and you lose sm you use smiley faces a lot, then uh, this is really useful, you know, because you can type in smiley faces um, a lot easier and quicker. Uh, so unfortunately, this tweak only works for iOS 5, so don't bother buying it if you have um, a iDevice with firmware uh, 4.0 and not 5.0 or above. Um, but you know, still really, really awesome tweak. If you have an iDevice on firmware 5.0 or higher, I would highly recommend iKiwi as it is an awesome tweak and it is extremely useful. So um, that's pretty much it for the iKiwi tweak. Happy holidays, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like the video by clicking the like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my second channel, Other to Hacker 13, my gaming channel, Spirals Gaming, and also follow me on Twitter. Those three links will be in the description down below. Please click the annotation on the screen now to watch my previous video if you haven't already. Once again, guys, thanks for watching the video, and see you all later.